Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and my studio. I am here with a fresh new haircut and color that you may have noticed. Today is March 1st. It is the beginning of a lot of things, Women's History Month, National Craft Month, and I have to say that I am so grateful that you all are watching and subscribing to this YouTube channel. I really, really am hoping to focus more on this platform and sharing goodness with all of you, things that I have going around in the studio. We are actually starting to travel and do things for work like we used to, which is so exciting. And I'm going to go wild in Anaheim, Planaheim, this Thursday. So hopefully I will see some of you there. There are a few things that are going on, so I thought I'd chat with you a little bit and then show you another thing that I'm trying to do on a daily basis. And I'm excited about this because I think that you all can glean some wisdom from it and maybe you already have a journaling practice and you enjoy creative journaling and you have found a system that works for you. I just wanna share a little bit more of how I am going to approach this practice. I am just excited. One thing that I did wanna mention is that I've got some videos on sleep.com. I think they only have one out right now, which is the dream journal video. So I'll link it in the description box below. As always, hit subscribe and like this video. And also, if you have any questions or comments, always leave them. I read every single one for better or for worse. And thank goodness it's for better most of the time. I really appreciate you all following along this journey. One other thing to mention, my new book. I'm gonna make a separate video with some little explainers about how I had to take my own author photo as a selfie because it was written in the beginning of the pandemic in 2020. A lot to share about this. If you have already pre-ordered, thank you so much. There's a link to pre-order and an event link if you pre-order before it comes out. Um, I think the date on there says February 28th, but let me just let you in on this a little secret. If you go ahead and pre-order and send in your proof of purchase, I think you can be in on the exclusive live event that will be recorded. I hope you can join. It's going to be on Sunday, March 13th, and it'll be really fun if you were able to come for that. I'll share more about this Making Memories journey, but for now, I wanna show you this amazing project that I hope to be working on uh, on a daily basis, but I don't know how often I will share the spreads. I really wanna keep it open and creative, and hopefully it'll inspire you to use the supplies that you have on hand. That's another part of what I'm encountering right now is I have so many things in the studio that I have yet to use, or maybe I haven't used them as much as I'd like to, and I want to explore those things. I want to take out my favorite supplies and use them. In the spirit of using our supplies, do you also have a problem with starting new journals but only getting a few pages in? Yeah, same here. This was from 2019 and I decided to revamp it in 2022 because why not? There are plenty of pages left. It's a blank watercolor journal from Jane Davenport and I have to let you know that I will be using my stash throughout this new series of creative journaling videos. So there will be items that will be linked, but some of them will also have been discontinued. I want to apologize if that's upsetting, but honestly, I think the goal of hoarding, I mean collecting amazing craft products and supplies is to not just hold on to them, but to use them. Use the heck out of them so that you can find joy in this journey, so you can use your favorite supplies alongside your favorite memories, alongside what you cherish. Also, while I feel a responsibility to share the latest and greatest with you, I also feel conflicted at times because I want to get back to using what I love, and sometimes it's things from years ago. I've invested a lot of money in supplies, and I'm sure you have too. Let this be encouragement for you to take out your supplies as well. Give yourself permission to play and explore and let your creative juices flow. As I lay down this foundation with Alta New watercolors, which are available and linked below, I'll play some music so you can enjoy the process of seeing how this came together. And you don't have to listen to that dog barking anymore. 
Just for. 